Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana, also known as Dino, and today I will be making some hot processed lotus blossom soap. This is one of my favorite soaps to make. I love the way it smells and the colors are always fun for me. I will be sharing one of my soaping recipes down in the description box below. The recipe will be in a percentage form, which will make it easier for you to enter into the soap cow. Uh, the recipe in the video is not the same as the one listed below. That's just because the one in the video is my baby. Um, I've worked very hard on it, so not really trying to share that one. Hope you understand. <laughs> um, but the recipe listed down below in the description box, that is still a good recipe to begin with. And you could just tweak it as you'd like from there. To start, I do add in my hard oils or the solid form oils first so that they can begin to melt in the crock pot. Once those are added in, then I start adding in my soft or liquid form oils. Um, as you can see, thanks to this awesome Texas heat, uh, most of my hard oils have already melted <laughs> by themselves, which is not a bad thing. Don't worry about it. It's still it'll still work it'll still do its thing um, and using the crock pot it helps maintain my high temperatures I have used the countertop method in the past and that is a great method however since then I've used the crock pot and I kind of I kind of prefer the way that the crock pot allows me, uh, my soap batter to be more um, quote-unquote fluid compared to the other way
Once my oils have melted down and have gotten to about 190 degrees or so, I begin to make my lye water solution. Um, as always, when working with lye, please make sure to use safe practice methods. I don't wear long sleeve shirts just because it's hot in my house, but at the same time, I am safe, so please don't hold that against me. But as always, use your safety materials, goggles, uh, gloves, etc. Um, for my light water solution, I do add in sodium lactate into my water prior to adding in my light solution. I make sure to mix that well. I check my temperature on the oils to make sure that they're up and where I want them. Again, that's about 190 or so. And then I start making my lye. I start pouring in my lye into my solution. Um, I do stir my lye prior to pouring it into my water. That's just to make sure that there's no clumps. Because if there's like a little clump of lye, that clump will stay a clump and then you'll get the little chunks of lye within your soap batter. So I just do a quick stir just to make sure everything's breaking up, pour it into my water, and then I go ahead and pour it into, um, well, I'm, you know, pour it into my water and then pour it into my oils. Now that my lye and oils are all together, let's start blending. Here you will see that I like to blend my soap. And I like to stir. <laughs> it calms me down, so don't judge me. Don't, don't hold that against me. I like to stir. Stir, stir, stir. <laughs> So this is a sped up time lapse of my soap. It usually takes about 20 minutes or so to go from the beginning to Vaseline stage. You will notice that the soap does not volcano at all. And that is fine. It's, you know, I mean, some soaps volcano, others don't. It just depends on the type of oils that you're using to begin with. Some recipes, depending on the oils, will volcano constantly, while others, like mine, not so much. At the end of it, it will still do the soap. As long as it gets to the Vaseline stage, that's where that's that's where you want to be. Now that I'm at the Vaseline stage, and yes, the stirring. <laughs> I was constantly stirring. You were warned, okay? <laughs> At this point, I do spray the top of my soap with 70% alcohol so that it doesn't get crusted or like get a um, little hard spots on the top. Um, because once it gets to the Vaseline stage, I do allow my soap to sit untouched for about five minutes. And that's just so that when I come back, I stir it again and I check it for the, I check the pH on it to make sure that there's no active lye in it before I start proceeding to do the rest.
so as my soap sits I will go ahead and prepare the rest of my additives um, to begin with I do my sugar water and with this it's about two tablespoons of water mixed with sugar and yes you have to stir it <laughs> stir again <laughs> it has to blend uh, once that's done I give my fragrance while you're ready Uh, for this batter, I am using Lotus Blossom from Nature's Garden and I'm anchoring my fragrance oil with Kalon Clay. If you have never heard of anchoring your fragrance oil, research it, look into it because that was a huge game changer for me. Anchoring your fragrance oil into your batter with me, I've heard of it with clay and I like Kalon Clay. Um, hope I'm saying that right. But by doing that, it, it's a huge game changer. It allows the fragrance oil to retain so much longer and so much better within your bar. So look into anchoring your fragrance oil. That is a huge thing. After I have that, I get together my super fat. I super fat at 5% with avocado oil. Um, you can use whatever oil you'd like. I just prefer avo avocado oil. Uh, once all my additives are mixed and ready to go, I check the pH levels on my soap. If it shows pink, with the little drops then they're still active lie and if that's the case I mix it up allow it to sit a little bit longer and then check it again but right now there's no pink so I'm good to go so first thing I add is my Germa blend which is a preservative I make sure to mix that in very well then I go in and I add in my super fat and I do spray it a little bit with some alcohol while I'm adding that in Once that's in, I add in my sugar water. With the sugar water, some people do heat up the water prior to adding it in. I don't really see a difference. Um, it still did the same thing. So heat the water, don't heat the water. I mean, you try it out, see which one works best for you. Once that's in, um, last thing I do is my fragrance oil only because I try to get the batter as fluid as I can prior to adding in the fragrance oil in case it hardens the batter some. So fragrance oil goes in last. Once that's in, mix, 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 stir, stir, stir. <laughs> and then yes, I am mixing my colors in the pot. They're all gonna be combined at the end of the day. I don't need to, you know, dirty any more dishes. Yes, I overscored it on the coral. Don't come at me. It will mix in. It will not stain. All is great in the world. <laughs> So once all the colors are in, I swirl it all together 
and I pour. You will see how easily it comes out of my pot. Um, it's not li like completely liquid as you would see in cold process, but it's leaving my crock pot clean. I mean, you don't see anything sticking to it. It's coming out really smooth. You know, I do uh, hit the container on the floor and on the table some to try to take out some air pockets, but it's coming out really nice. And my weakness is the tops. I cannot create the tops for the life of me, so <laughs> you will see me really trying to get it, you know, do something with it, but at the end of the day, it's just like, you know, it is what it is. Spray some glitter and you're done. <laughs> The next day, the soap is done. Well, you know, it's it's hard enough to cut. Um, and man, I just love the way these colors came out. They mix so beautifully together. And it smells amazing. Yeah, look at it. Isn't it pretty? And yes, you will see an air pocket. No matter <laughs> how hard I hit the container on the floor, I still left an air pocket in there. But it's fine. You know, it's, it's still pretty. It'll still work. Thank you everyone so much for everybody who has stuck around and watched the video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. The final cut is up next. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be uploading more videos as I make them. Thank you.